Hi, I'm Ree from mummyof4.com. Welcome back to my channel. I talk about parenting tips, tricks, hacks and advice, all the stuff I wish I'd known before I had my first baby that I have figured out the hard way with four children. I would love it if you'd subscribe to my channel, hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday at 7pm. Today I'm going to share with you the nine things that you really need to know before giving birth to your baby. The first thing that you're going to need to know is that leading up to the birth, people are going to drive you mad. Now, if you're pregnant already, you're probably already familiar with public property syndrome, which is where people think it's appropriate to touch your bump. Guys, this is never okay. This is never okay. We would not just go and touch someone's stomach if they were not pregnant. So it's not okay if you're pregnant. As the birth approaches, People will drive you mad in a whole new way, namely nagging you about whether you've had the baby yet. As if you would have the baby and then keep it a secret or something. And as if being pregnant isn't sort of annoying enough without having to deal with everyone nagging you about whether you're still pregnant and have had the baby yet. Just be prepared for the comments. For your sister to ring you, your friends to ring you, for comments on Facebook, asking you if you've delivered yet. Be prepared with your comebacks. The next thing that you need to know is that the things you're worrying about now before going into labour, you will not give a monkey's about when you're actually in labour. You won't care who can see your hoo-ha or whether your legs are shaved or if you've done a poo on the table because quite frankly, all you'll be focused on is getting that baby out. And as long as that happens, you will not care about anything else. I promise you. The next thing that you probably need to be aware of and this is going to be quite reassuring, is that your labour will not start with Hollywood level drama. Labour but does not go, oh, my water broke, ah, I'm in so much pain and I'm holding the baby. I mean, it would be good if it did, it would be kind of quick. But sadly it doesn't. Next thing you need to know is that your water's breaking might not be the flood that you would expect. It could in fact just be a little trickle. Some people in fact, just have such a small, slow trickle that they barely even notice their water's going at all. You might even have to have your waters broken right at the end. Your might, waters might even go as you are pushing the baby out. So don't expect the flood to be the first sign of labor because it's not necessarily gonna be. The next thing that you need to know is that natural reaction to pain is the exact opposite to what you should be doing while in labor. I have a whole video about this technique to get you through labour, which I shall pop up here in the cards, but the gist of it is if you want your cervix to do this, you do not want the rest of your body to be doing this. So check out the video for exactly how you can use the technique to get yourself through labour the easiest way possible. You need to know that it's going to feel when you're pushing like the baby is coming out of your bottom. Sounds strange, and a midwife said this to me when I was having my first son, but it's true, it's kind of how it feels. Let me know in the comments if you've got a baby, is that how it felt? It is, it's just because the area that your baby is coming out of is not as large as a baby's head normally, so it expands to what feels like your whole body. So yes, it's going to feel like your baby is coming out of your bottom and that's kind of where you need to push into. Another thing I feel you need to know you're not gonna like this, but it's kinda gonna feel like your hoo-ha is on fire. It's not much fun, but while you're pushing, that's how it's gonna feel. Sorry. If you've had a baby before, this one's for you. The truth of the matter is, you're not going to remember how labor really feels until you're in labor again. True story. And the final point I want you to remember, and if you take one thing away from this video, let it be this. If you are in labor and you feel you get to that stage where you think to yourself, I cannot do this anymore, you're nearly there. That is the stage where your body is ready to push that baby out. So when you think that thought in your head and it will come, replace it with, that means I'm nearly there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday. And I shall see you guys so very, very soon. Bye-bye.